Alright guys, welcome to your 12th physics lecture and in this lecture I'm going to be clearing things up because I'm going to discuss the units of force. Now the rules for units of force is this. Whenever you're trying to figure out the force of something and you have your mass that's measured in kilograms, not grams, not anything else but kilograms, and your acceleration is going to be measured in meters per second squared then the end result or the force you come up with is going to be something called newtons which is symbolized with the n in physics now if you guys are saying okay this is kinda hard for me to picture how much force is exactly one newton is it a car hitting me is it the force that you know maybe you're throwing a baseball is that one newton well i know a newton just picturing okay kilograms meters per second is kind of hard to picture so imagine it like this on earth whenever you are holding a pound of something in your hand that's equal to four newtons so four newtons equals one pound so what exactly does this mean say you are holding a one pound bottle of water because wow that definitely does not <laughs> does not look like a bottle of water H2O but say that you are holding a one pound bottle of water 16 ounces this is supposed to be your hand right here well if this bottle of water was 16 ounces or one pound then due to gravity the bottle of water would be pushing down on your hand with a force of four newtons right like that so basically on earth one pound equals about four newtons so let's go ahead and you know enough with my awesome drawing let's go ahead and take a look at a word problem so just remember this force which is measured in newtons is equal to mass times acceleration so I have this big old potato behind my house and this potato weighs or has a mass should I say of six kilograms now me and my friends thought it would be an awesome idea to fling this potato through the air with the potato gun that we built. Now this potato gun that we built, it kind of looks like this and it can exert a force of 36 newtons. It's a pretty powerful potato gun. So what we wanted to figure out is, okay, how fast can we get this six kilogram potato to go with this potato gun that, it, that can exert a force of 36 newtons? Well, we know we had this formula, force equals mass times acceleration, and we had the force, which was this right here, and we had the mass of the object, or the potato, which was 6 kilograms, so 36 newtons, which would be the force, equals the mass, which would be 6 kilograms, times acceleration, and that's what we were trying to figure out. So in order to get A alone, or acceleration, you divide both sides by six by six and you come up with the answer of six meters per second squared so guys just remember this if you have a potato that has a mass of six kilograms and you built a potato gun that is capable of flinging a potato 36 newtons then you can get that sucker up to a speed of six or a velocity of six meters per second so there you go, there's some potato gun building advice, and hopefully you guys understand the units of force, which is newtons. So remember one more time, whenever your mass is measured in kilograms, and your acceleration is measured in meters per second squared, then your force is always going to be equal to newtons.